A hacker put malware on a Discord that I hang out on, so naturally I downloaded it to see what it did. The hacker was trying to convince us all that the software was a game he and his friends were working on and wanted to know if we would try it out. Being the engineer that I am, I trusted him, downloaded it, and ran it. Just kidding. Being the paranoid skeptic that I am, I decided to reverse engineer the game and see if its insides were evil or not. Like any good reverse engineer, I ran strings on the binary to get an idea of what I was in for. At a quick glance of the strings, I was assured this probably was not a game. After some initial triage on my favorite disassembler, Ida, love you girl, I found out this game wasn't a game at all. It was malware. What does the malware do? Who wrote it? And are they after me? All these questions were racing through my mind, and me and my girl Ida were going to figure it all out. Eventually, I discovered the malware was one part of a two-stage attack. This game was actually just a loader that disabled a ton of stuff on my computer, like Windows Defender, real-time virus protection, spyware protection, and a ton of other Windows antivirus features. After this, the game downloaded its second stage from this sketchy URL here, which it later executed under this name. So, you guessed it, I downloaded the bigger malware too. Now that the actor had my IP address because I didn't use a VPN, good job idiot, the clock was ticking. The second piece of malware was bigger and more intricate. Unfortunately, this binary was heavily obfuscated I didn't have time to reverse engineer how it was packed and write an unpacker. So I did what any sane person would do. I just ran it. But I ran it in a sandbox. Dropping the second stage malware into any.run, I saw the malware doing a couple of interesting things. First, the malware called out to this IP address with a bot ID, where the server returned a second binary that eventually got executed by the loader. The loader ran, took a screenshot of my desktop, sent it home, and created a task to run this command here. After all was said and done, it turned out that the final stage of the malware was just a Monero crypto miner. Nothing too malicious, but I still wasn't happy. When I went to confront the hacker in Discord, he was gone. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and let me know if you want to see more reverse engineering stuff. And then after that, check out this video about how I exploited a bug in my server software. We'll see you there.